Hey you guys, how is everybody doing? 2020 is almost over and your girl here was able to make a video in less than a month. So the plan was to make number blocks and trolls, but I looked up the number blocks after <laughs> and then I realized that there's like 10 of them. And I also realized there's more than 10. So if I see that you guys enjoy this video, we can definitely try to do the other ones because I did real I did notice that they count I thought they just counted to 10 but they do count above 10 so we may do that depending on like how I see you guys like the video but for this video we're just gonna do the number blocks the next video will be trolls I was planning to combine them together but that did not happen because if I would have then the video would have been like how many figures like 20 I don't know <laughs> but here is number one what do you guys think Number two. Numbers are more than just numbers though. Numbers have meanings too. <laughs> I looked up. I'm really into... I'm just... I'm into everything, but... Numbers also can signify different meanings. Like the number one signifies like beginnings. The number two can be like balance and choices and it, so on and so on with every number. And like certain numbers together. I'm really into the everything and i i also noticed that numbers also have meanings they're more than just numbers and i think it's pretty interesting the show is very interesting because i love that it teaches you how to count and i've never watched it but i checked it out just to get an idea but as a little girl i definitely enjoyed watching tv shows that taught me how to learn like certain things like sesame street mr rogers reading rainbow <laughs> For the juggling animation, I had to watch a juggling video to try to figure out how do I move? How do the balls move? I don't understand. This character reminded me of a clown and a circus and juggling. So I decided to do the animation for juggling. I hope you guys like it. Yeah, for the for every figure, I kind of some of them I try, I did the mouths differently. I would do the eyes differently. I would do the arms and legs differently depending for like this one, I tried to do that mouth this way, but some of them I tried to indent it. So each one I did it differently. I just kind of, I don't know, I just wanted to try, I don't know, I kept on switching it back and forth depending on like where the mouth or the eyes were or how the feet were or how the clay was. So for the feet, I decided to use wires just to give it more strength. I feel like you may want to do without, it really is up to you. But if you do go without the wires, I would definitely suggest using the liquid Sculpey to give it more strength. Because when the parts are just like hanging out like that, like arms and legs that are just poking out. Or just any clay that's very, po like it's thin and it's poking out, it, it can break off more easily. So I added the wire for strength. And for the lines, I use a needle. You can't see the whole needle. I think, I don't know if I show like the whole needle, but I use a needle for the little indents of the lines and the blade at the same time. And for the acrylic paint, I add a lot of water. <laughs> Five. And I am trying my bestest to make it the same size as the number one block. The star was very difficult to make. It took me like a minute and a half to, more than a minute, probably like five, <laughs> to make. I don't know why it is a simple, it's supposed to be a simple shape, kind of, right? I don't know. But it was, it was complicated. And for this video, you're going to have to make three stars. Because <laughs> number 10 has two. <laughs> We're going to, oh, you know what? Never mind. You know what else was also hard? The hand. Out of all the figures, the hardest thing to do were the star and the hands. Everything that had five, huh? <laughs> and of course, I added the wire for the hand, especially... I would definitely say use the wire for the hand. So how you guys been? New Year's is coming. What'd you guys do for Christmas? I didn't celebrate the holidays. I'm not, and I'm not going to celebrate New Year's either. <laughs> I'm very... 
I'm I'm very antisocial. Ah, <laughs> I told my family, you guys, I'm not celebrating the holidays this year. Is 2021 gonna get better? Um, I don't think so, honestly. <laughs> it looks like the human population is getting a pause and a reset because Mother Nature is taking control this time. I think 2021 is... I hope everybody's doing good. Positive vibes. And don't let all of this stop you from like doing what you love regardless, you know? Follow your passions. <laughs> rainbow this one i worked i decided to work on top of cardboard well it's not cardboard it's paper it's some recycled letter paper envelope thingy <laughs> and i decided to work on top of it because i was scared that it was gonna fall apart or like break apart when i removed it off the tile so i when i'm scared that a figure is gonna fall apart from moving it I just decide to work on top of index card or cardboard paper just so I can remove it directly from the tile and it doesn't like move or anything and then I could put it in the oven. You should be fine as long as you bake according to instructions. I haven't had no paper burn on me. <laughs> Number eight reminded me of a squid, an uh, octopus, some form of tentacle sea creature. So of course I had to put it in the ocean or in the water. This one looked very intimidating because it had a lot of parts going on. But I, it's not so bad. It's a lot of it is repetition. The eyes are very interesting though. And I love it because it's the number eight and it has like the infinity symbol, which is like an eight as well. So I love how the eyes like makes sense with the number of blocks and i did notice that they count more to than 10 characters um, so i might do more if i see that you guys enjoy it i'm down to do the other ones i just i'm probably gonna have to make the blocks way smaller though because i don't know up to what numbers that they count but i saw 15 uh mystery 15 i forget what they called it that it was pretty cute the name but here is eight <laughs> Number nine, anticipation and reflection. I don't know. I really tried just kind of like a glimpse of like what numbers mean. And sometimes like certain numbers, like if you see 111, 222, 333, 444. On the spiritual side, it could be true or it could be not. I look up the numbers and then it says like positive messages on Google. And I'm like, oh, that's awesome. I love it. <laughs> Positive vibes, especially through through these hard times. <laughs> but uh, yeah, what do you guys think? I really like the ombre color of it all. More and more, I'm having to do the thumbnails with two hands because I end up doing more and more figures. But I hope you guys enjoy them. <laughs> Yes, the music went perfectly with the animation. Yes, you guys. Let's count in Spanish. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez. Diez is number 10. Yes, we over here counting and hopefully learning at the same time. I'm not the best teacher, nor am I a teacher. I don't think I am. <laughs> I never went to school for it, so no, I'm not a teacher. <laughs> But I try to teach a little bit. And if I am ever wrong, correct me down below. Feel free. <laughs> That's why I like YouTube, like the comment section. I love it because we over here a community. Try to keep it positive. I love you guys for watching. This one was probably the hardest, I want to say. Just because of the hands and the stars. The stars and the hands were the most difficult for me. Okay, so for number three, I noticed that the feet were kind of glittery. So I baked it, I glazed it, and now I'm gonna use some resin with some glitter, mix it together so I can put it on the feet. This is very optional, but I thought it was gonna add that little extra touch of love. I don't know. <laughs> but you don't have to do it if you don't want to. But we're gonna add the glue, add the magnet, and I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I love you guys so much for watching. I hope you have an awesome day. Bye!